Uh, let's turn, however, to some more frothing, uh, which can be found in the form of the IMF announcing that Britain has uh, or is poised for the slowest growth amongst G7 nations. I'm assuming that if we don't get economic growth back into our economy, we're going to have problems. Absolutely. I, I mean, it's only a matter of weeks that, you know, we had come out of the pandemic quicker than anyone else. Everything was going great. We were on target for superb ep- economic results. And then the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, just announced in a, in a massive turnaround that we're poised, as you say, for the slowest growth in all the G7 nations. This is due mainly to the massive surge in energy bills and roaring inflation, which will outstrip all of our peers. Energy uh, chiefs warned only yesterday of a, quote, truly horrific, unquote, rise in bills this autumn that could leave up to 40 percent of Britons in fuel poverty unless the government offers uh, further help. Now, after our swift recovery from the pandemic, the cost of living crisis and the planned corporation tax increases are now projected to bring our economy to a to a crawl, if not a halt. So Chancellor Sunak is going to have, I think, uh, some difficulty putting the economy and consumers at the center of any general uh, election campaign. And where will all this end? Well, to a large degree, only President Putin knows. Well, there's a huge amount of um, international geopolitics uh, as a result of all of this. Uh, and indeed, it's going to affect our uh, money in our pocket. So I think a story that will continue uh, to dominate the headlines in some shape or form. Meanwhile, Absolutely. 